Alphonse Gabriel Capone, better known as Al Capone, was born in Brooklyn, New York, on January 17, 1899. He was the son of recent Italian immigrants, Gabriele and Teresina Capone. Capone's father was a barber, and his mother was a seamstress. Capone's childhood was unremarkable, but he showed a propensity for violence from an early age. He was expelled from school for fighting, and he joined a street gang called the Five Points Gang. As a teenager, Capone worked as a bouncer in brothels and gambling houses. In 1920, Capone was sent to Chicago by his mentor, Johnny Torrio. Torrio was a powerful gangster who controlled the bootlegging trade in Chicago. Capone quickly rose through the ranks of Torrio's organization, and he soon became one of the most feared gangsters in the city. Capone's reign of terror in Chicago lasted for nearly a decade. He was responsible for numerous murders, and he controlled a vast criminal empire that included gambling, prostitution, and bootlegging. Capone was also a master of bribery, and he used his influence to corrupt the police and politicians in Chicago. In 1931, Capone was finally brought to justice for income tax evasion. He was sentenced to 11 years in prison, and he served seven years at Alcatraz. After his release from prison, Capone's health declined, and he died of complications from syphilis in 1947. Al Capone was a ruthless and violent gangster, but he was also a complex figure. He was charming and charismatic, and he was able to win the loyalty of many people. Capone was also a shrewd businessman, and he built a vast criminal empire that made him one of the richest men in America. Capone's legacy is a mixed one. He was a symbol of violence and corruption, but he was also a product of his time. The Prohibition era was a time of lawlessness and chaos, and Capone was one of the most successful gangsters of that era. Capone's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of power and greed. He was a man who rose to the top of the criminal world, but he ultimately paid the price for his crimes.